Right, I'm Bhavish, and in this video, we're going to look at creating a new custom command in AS400. So let's begin. So we all know what is a command in AS400, right? The works pull file is a command. Your work ACT job is a command. So anything that you type that allows you to execute a certain task is a command. But these are system commands. These are commands created in the IBM operating system, in the IBM AS400. IBM I operating system if I say so these are inbuilt command but you can create your own commands as well so in this video we're going to look at how to create your own command so why would you need to create a custom command in the first place aren't these enough well you might uh, have some script in CL for example which does a particular task so four to five different commands it executes one after the other you do not want to execute those four to five commands in line every single day once you come to the office so what you would do you would write all those five commands in a script in a cl script and instead of calling the script by call you can create a command so you can create your own custom command to execute your own custom code it is very handy another reason is to create a short command out of a larger inbuilt command now you can copy these command objects and you can copy paste these objects in your own libraries also to create a custom command but since we do not have authority on top 400 the sample which we are going to take today to create our own command is to create a short command out of an original longer command so what we are going to do is for cr for works full file instead of works full file we are going to create ws so when i execute ws it should open and it should do the same thing as works full file did for work active job we are going to create wa so when you type wa it will automatically execute work active job in the back end instead of strsql we are going to just create an s command so when you type s sql will start for you so let's begin so first thing is to create a star cmd source and store it in qcmd src so we have seen qcl src qcbl src and other source physical files until now but qcmd src is specifically for storing the source of commands so let's go over there with work mbr pdm qcmd src and our library so since for this video demonstration purposes i've already created a ws command so let's look inside it is only one line it says cmd the name of the cmd is ws but apart from cmd apart from this line you can also give other parameters so whatever parameters you want to pass in through your command even those parameters you can specify so we'll look at those things in a later video but for today all that we will focus on is creating a simple command that will execute an inbuilt command to create a shortcut or a short command okay so i've created i've already created it for ws we'll do the same thing for wa which is work active job so source number is going to be wa source type can be same so star same will automatically assume that it is uh, a cmd type so cmd wa is all i need to type so i've created wa source and just write a description so command to launch work act gov and this one is command to launch works profile okay so we are done with the source for cmd this was very short uh, the next thing is to after qcmd src the next thing is to create the source that will execute once you execute the command so this source can be in any programming language of your choice it can be c plus plus java python whatever language the as for android platform supports you can write your code you can write in COBOL, rpg sql COBOL. you can write multiple sql statements in it anything that you like to execute what we want to execute we just want to execute work active job so we know that the best place to do, do that is a clp or a cl command because cl is a scripting language and scripting language allows you to execute operating level commands we'll go to qcl src and i've already created for ws which is a CLP program. I have started the program CL program with PGM, ended the program with end PGM, and I have WRK SPLF, which is the command that I want to execute. So once the CL program runs, 
it will only execute the works pool file so similarly we'll create a new uh, new CL program for our work active job so we'll call that WA and we will we'll again have PGM and PGM and we only need one single command which is WRP ACP GOB we can do F4 to make sure that it is correct and correct parameters are shown once we press enter it will auto align the correct indentation and that's it this is our entire source code that we require because you only need to execute one single line of WRP ACP GOB this is all we need we'll do file and we'll save it so the source that we need to execute when the command runs is completed our command source is also completed now the time is for compilation so we have to compile both we'll start by compiling the cl so all we have to do is 14 but i'll just write over here so this is to launch wrk act jo okay so when you do 14 option it gives a normal crt cl pgm prompt you press enter it says that the program wa is created in library my personal library if you do work obj and star all you will see that wa is a cl object that is created now if you go back to the command line and type wa it will still not work because we have not compiled the command we have only compiled the source we have not compiled this compound source we have only compiled the source that we wrote which will execute or the logic or the base business logic which we wrote in cl this is what we have compiled so we will still be able to call it with call wa and you see it has started the work with active jobs which is the task manager for as400 which we wanted so now work act job opens the same thing and wa still does not work but call wa will work now if you want to create the command you have to compile the star cmd source for that we need to go back to work mbr pdm we will need to go to qcmd src again your library and we will be compiling wa with 14 option and enter so it says that the command wa is created let's try to execute it see we executed wa and we started the work with active jobs we'll execute it once again we'll go out and we'll just type wa press enter it has started the work with active jobs for us so we have created a shortcut for work ACT GOB and shortcut is WA so every time I need to execute work, work active job I can just type in WA and it will execute now if you do work OBJ on it you will see that WA is a program CL program and WA is also a command which resides in my personal library so this executes directly because my personal library is always in the list of my profile library list so what i mean by that is if i do display library list on the command line you will see that my personal library v one is always there in the list of libraries this is how my profile is configured so when the system when you type wa and you press enter it will first try to search for your command object in the top library it will not find it it will go to the second library it will not find it it will keep on falling down to third priority fourth priority libraries and eventually it will find the wa object in my personal library once it finds it it will execute so i do not need to specify the library you can just type wa and it executes what i want so that was it for this video if you do like watching these videos consider subscribing to the channel thank you for watching that is it for today